So I made this video and posted it on the Photo Vibrance Facebook page. I had Photo Vibranced the image, the colored image, and then I always tend to put things into a into Create Studio and make some sort of video from it. And some people on Photo Vibrance had asked about it, so I'm going to show you how I made this. Now, you won't have this video. I'm going to go step by step so you can open your app and we can get started on it and you can do it with me. But you can go to inside of Create Studio if you go to Media and then go to Pix. Yeah, I got that in Pixabay. I labeled it so I wouldn't forget. If you go to Pixabay and then just type in Dancer, it is going to be in here. I just have to keep scrolling to see where it might be. I think sometimes they move the images once you've been in there. Um, why this is scrolling. There it is, right there. So you can just click import. I'm not gonna do it, I already have it. And once you, well, I'll do it again. Once you import it, they even give us a little helpful hint that it's in your media folder. Now I have a bunch of them because I did it. So I'm gonna delete what I just downloaded. And this is what I clicked and dragged to my canvas. Now I animated that, yours isn't animated, but you could at least do it the same way. Or if you want to bring a video in, you can do that as well. Then what I did is I highlighted my image I used Command D, you can also duplicate it. And that was because I wanted another copy. And on the top copy, I went up to Effects and Components. I got one of my filters. I dragged it to my top image and I just put sepia. So then it was in black and white. So underneath is my color, on the top is my black and white. What I did on the black and white, so if you're off of it, you just highlight it. I went and I put a white border. So I changed the color to white. I can't quite remember what size I put. Let's just put 12 for right now. That looks a little thinner. Let's put um, 15. You can put any color you want, but this is the border. Um, like this that I had around the shape. Then what I did, if you highlight that, you see these four nodes in the corner, these little circles. I just grabbed that and just brought it in just a teeny bit so it was rounded. Maybe a little bit more. You can always go back and change it to what you might want. Now the other thing I want to do is because if I play this, you can see the border. If you look at here, you cannot see the border when I play. You only are going to see that line, but you can see the shape is there. So what I want to do, I'm going to click and drag to select both because I'm going to increase the size and I want it to be increased the same, otherwise the image on the top will be bigger than the image on the bottom. So I can either click and drag these to be outside of the canvas, see how it's purple now? Or, I'm gonna cancel that with my Command Z. I can select the top one and then say go to 90 kind of looks good. And then I can go to the underneath one, highlight the scale, put in 90, and they'll be the same size. You just want to make sure that they are the same size. Um, that I think that might be okay. Let's see. It kind of looks like it went wider than it did to the top because it's a, a rectangle but I'm gonna show you how to do it and then you can adjust the sizing to however you want. So now the easy, now it's the easy part. You select the top one. You're going to detach the mask right here. And then what I'm going to do 
is I still have that one highlighted. I'm going to add an animation of position and scale, then easing. I'm probably going to pick linear. You can do whichever one you want. Then I'm going to go to my end keyframe. Let me click off to get rid of the menu. Go to my end keyframe and then I can drag it to wherever I want it. Now you can see it's going to, that's kind of slow, but I timed it to the music. So the music that I used right here beyond is in Create Studio. If you go to music, you can even just, I think it should come up for the name, maybe not. I believe it was in corporate. So I'm not doing good. There it is. I use that one. I don't know if they're both the same. Oh, there's two different ones. It's that one. All right. So I can shorten the duration of that transition if I want. And again, I just did it to the music. So first I did it that way. And then when I was timing the music, oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? I also did a little bit of a shadow. Now this background is dark, so you don't really see it, but you will see the effect of it when I do that. See how it kind of has a shadow effect? So it does have a little bit of an effect here, but not as much if the background weren't black itself. But I just went to shadow. I would have to go back to look, but it was probably something like three and three. And I'm gonna zoom in, and then I just changed the angle so that it was coming out on this side instead of on the right or the bottom. So again, I don't quite know what I did. Um, probably somewhere around here. I'm gonna leave it like that and we can always adjust that after. I'm gonna press my F key and it brings it back to the full screen, the full canvas. So here we have, see how you can see a little bit of the shadow? It might be a bit too much, but we'll see. Um, and then you can see right there, there's a little bit of a shadow. Um, that's the shadow that I just put on there. Then what I did, Again, timing it to the music, but I'm just gonna move it here. I added another animation of, I'll use linear. I did um, position and scale again, I believe. Then I moved my keyframe, the duration I want it. I can always change that by just moving it around. But right now I'm gonna set that keyframe. And what I did is I moved the whole thing. So I'm going to use my shift and left arrow key on my um, computer on my keyboard. And I think I centered it. I'd be more precise, but you don't have to watch me to center it. So now what does it do? And it would be much better with music, but that would be too competing here. So now it went there. Then what I did is wherever I wanted it on the soundtrack, I added another keyframe, add animation. I think I used position, scale, um, rotation. I also got rid of the border. So I had position, scale, rotation, fill, and border. Then I went to my end keyframe and I'm not, I'd have to go back to see what I did, but let's say we move the key, uh, the scale to 30. Let's say, I'm just gonna grab this and spin it around a few times and maybe end at an angle. This one's more of a square than mine was more of a rectangle, but I think that was just how big I made it when I resized the two of them at the start. Then what I'm gonna do is go into border and color. 
and I'm slowly going to get rid of the color. So now when it's done spinning, it won't have a border on it, but it does have the shadow, which it looks like I have a bigger shadow than in my other one. But again, you can change that. I'll show you how. So let's see. And now it waits for however long, and now it's going to do the middle. I could have made those shorter for the purpose of this. You can have it spin however fast or slow. You can have it spin one time. Um, I spun by clicking on the edges. You can also go in here for rotation. So if I want that to go a little less or a little bit more, you can change the rotation through the properties. Because I have rotation, I can go into properties and I can just play around. I can make it go counterclockwise or clockwise, whatever you want. Um, but you know what? I do want this to end like this. Reason being is because the way that I made the video, it expanded out and I just realized that might look weird if it was at an angle. Um, I'm just going to shorten these so that there's not so much time that we have to wait when we're wa when we're viewing what we did. Um, again, you would time it however you want it. So now it spins and you can see that the border is no longer there. And then I did another animation of, I believe it was position... I don't think I need position actually, but scale and opacity because then I want it to, I don't know if I need opacity. Let me get rid of that for a minute. Just position and scale. Linear, I'm gonna to go to my end keyframe. Then I'm gonna to go to my properties and I am just going to scale it up. I timed it to be the beat of the music that's taking quite a while. We don't need it to take that long, but you can see if you just move the keyframe, it will move. I didn't have it centered. You can tell because see how it's running off the screen on the left faster than the right. So there's the center. Can you see the purple line? The vertical line right there. So now it should be centered. Eh, it's still off a little bit, but you can fix that. It might be my shape isn't the best because I'm rushing through it. Now when it was full, it's still on the black and white. So then I added an animation that had opacity. I clicked and I can move the opacity down. Now you have the color. And that's all I did. I did do a little bit of a something with the new transitions that we got because I just wanted to try it and I can show you what I did just to change, um, to change up a little bit. And again, this underneath one was my video. Here it's a static image, but I had animated the video. So what you what I did here is I selected my bottom colored image. I cut it. Then what I did is on the second part that I cut, I went to my filters. I put my filter on there. Oh, I chose it right. I took the saturate just so that it looked a little brighter, but you can cho choose whatever you want. And then I just see how next to both of those, if you just hover the green comes, you can click on that and you can get any of these new. I don't remember what I used. That would not be good. I don't like that one. But just as an, just to show you that that would happen, I would make that a little longer. Um, let's see. And then it came 
And then what I did is I went into the studio and I just looked for dust. And then you can pick a little bit of an effect if you want. I think I used seven. So you can pull that over so that then you have a little bit of a... I might have even forgot, put down some opacity. I think I made it too bright before. And then it just gives a little bit of dimension to the image. And that's how you make an animated mask from black and white to color. I hope this helped and I hope that uh, I'd love to see some of what you make. Have fun.